I wasn't actually planning on making this video, but there were a few paid jerk offs attempting to advertise this company in the comment section of one of my videos. On top of that, when I went to Whole Foods, I got sticker shocked. It was 14 bucks for an 11 ounce container of tallow. It's rendered beef fat. It doesn't cost you more than, you know, two, three, four dollars a pound for the beef fat itself. How are they charging over $14 for this? It's absolutely insane. And compared to what you get on Frankie's free range meat, it's uh, no close comparison. And one thing that you guys keep asking me for some reason and bringing up is, you know, oh, is your tallow rendered from suet? And we do render both of our Wagyu tallow and regular beef tallow from suet. It has a higher stearic acid, saturated fat content. I honestly you know, didn't know that was a thing that people were trying to get higher saturated fat in their cooking fats, but that is what we do. All of our fats, whether it's the beef tallow, the pork, as well as the lamb, it's all rendered from the suet. So here is our selection. Epic sells pork fat. We sell Iberico pork fat on Frankie's free range meat. Epic also sells beef tallow. We sell both Wagyu beef tallow and regular beef tallow on Frankie's free range meat. And from a price perspective, I think both the pork lard and the beef fat were $14. Our pork lard is $8. Of course you're getting less, but uh, this is eight ounces and this is 11 ounces. So you're paying, I think around $1.15 per ounce for the Epic, and for ours, you're paying less and it's a higher quality product. Same thing with the Epic beef tallow. For $14 for 11 ounces of theirs, you can actually get two eight ounce containers from us, so you get five more ounces for the same exact price. Now, let's take a look at the marketing on these before we uh, jump into tasting them. So this is pork fat, organic. Uh, what that basically means is that this is probably from pigs that are fed organic corn and soy. This is likely incredibly high in omega-6 fatty acids. I wouldn't consider this something even safe to consume. You know, you could really compare this almost to a vegetable seed oil, whereas our pork lard is from 100% Spanish Iberico pigs. We know for sure the omega fatty acid ratio and the omega-6 content is low and it's a safe amount. The beef tallow, uh, they're marketing theirs as grass-fed and honestly from a nutritional perspective I don't expect there to be a substantial difference between these two. The main thing I would be concerned about is the oxidation and we'll be able to kind of tell that uh, once we open this up. So if you're buying chicken fat, pork fat, duck fat, there's definitely an initial concern of the quality and that would already rule it out regardless of how it tastes or how oxidized it is. Uh, for the beef tallow, we actually do want to look a bit further and uh, see what it looks like, see what it tastes like. Now, a quick glance at the pork lard. There's looks a little drier and a, a tiny bit yellow. Ours looks very smooth, very white. And the yellow in this is likely from the rendering process where they had a quite a bit of muscle tissue in there and they were browning it. So the Epic Beef Tallow on the left is pretty yellow, but same thing with the pork fat. It looks really, really dry uh, compared to our Wagyu Tallow on the bottom and our Beef Tallow on top. Uh, I guess the next thing to do is taste these and figure out what's going on. So we're going to taste for two primary things. One is the culinary aspect. You know, what's the flavor? What's the texture like? How good is it? Two is the oxidation, is the fat oxidized. Now, as we already said, you know, you don't wanna buy this pork fat just based on the quality, but uh, let's see what the epic pork fat tastes like. So texture-wise, very, very soft, very soft. Scoops out pretty easily. Smells, I mean, very porky. You can smell the, the pig in this. It has like that, um, like a plasticky, bacony taste to it like a, a conventional pork taste to it. I don't like it. It doesn't taste like, a, I don't know. I don't know, let me, let me taste the, the Iberico pork lard and see if I can tell the difference. So ours is really soft as well, um, except that it, it flows a little smoother. It's a little more moist. 
But, you know, the texture is fairly similar. To be honest, there isn't a substantial difference in like pork flavor here. I would say the Frankie's syringe meat is much milder, but it's missing that like really fake artificial. I can't tell what that is on this epic pork vet, but it, it does not taste good. Uh, it could be just from feeding them so much corn and soy and I'm getting hints of that. But with the Frankie's syringe meat pork lard, that flavor isn't there. It's milder and it's certainly way healthier for you. Let me do one more quick taste side by side to see if I change my mind. Oh man, that's horrible. Okay, I changed my mind. This is horrible. This is pretty good. <laughs> for sure, stay away from epic pork fat. That's nasty. Um, this stuff is actually pretty good. I could eat it by the spoon. I mean, I was never really that much of a fan of, you know, eating tallow in general. This is Really good for making like pie crust, tamales. Let's see how the beef tallow is. So we're starting with Epic. Actually smells pretty good. Smells pretty good. It's like really, oh man, really barnyardy. That is definitely some type of grass fed. You can really taste like a barnyardy flavor and I would actually be concerned about cooking with this because it's just gonna make whatever meat you cook in it really taste like that. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not bad, but it's definitely a strong flavor. So let's try our beef tallow in comparison. All right, texture-wise, ours is about the same. I, I would say the texture of both of these is similar. This is way more mild, way, way milder flavor. This is way better to cook with for sure. I almost don't get that much like grassy flavor on the Frankie syringe meat beef tallow. It's super duper mild. It's super plain. Uh, you know, if you put a little salt on this, it might bring the flavor out a little bit, but you know, you taste these side by side. I, I, I don't know what application you would want to use this for. If you wanted something to have like a really barnyardy beef flavor, but usually when I come across fat like this or meat that tastes like this, I, I don't eat it. I usually get rid of it, to be honest. Now I'm gonna have the Wagyu tallow. Texture-wise, it's, it's a bit softer. The texture is really nice. Since both our regular tallow and our Wagyu tallow are rendered from suet, the flavor is pretty similar. I would say the Wagyu tallow has a slightly smoother and softer texture and a tiny bit hint of flavor, but for the most part, they're pretty mild. They're excellent cooking fats. Uh, what you're getting with the Wagyu tallow for the extra $2 is a slightly easier texture to work with and you know maybe a marginally better flavor. Yeah, no, that is a... Uh, this is what happens when you use like beef trim fat, and uh, I would guess there's you know some type of muscle tissue in here too because it just has a really 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 pungent grassy barnyardy flavor now there are some scenarios where if you're lucky and the cow was on perfect pasture you'll get like a butterscotch flavor but that's very difficult to find and this is definitely not a butterscotch flavor it's not horrible i've had more barnyardy smelling um grass-fed beef, but this is the good barnyard smell. Uh, is it what you're expecting to cook with? Is it something you can really cook with? I don't know what people are looking for uh, in a product like this, really. It's not, it's not what I would expect or want. Thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, let me know what you guys think of uh, the Frank Keats Range Meat cooking fats, you know, if you think there's anywhere we can improve, but I mean, compared to what's on the market, especially considering the price point, uh, I don't really know uh, if I could say anything positive about Epic. And uh, the one thing I really don't like is companies like this and ButcherBox attempt to market their products as like healthy, nutrient-dense animal foods, yet, you know, whenever they sell pork or duck or chicken or anything besides beef, it's all low-quality crap. And then the beef ends up always being questionable from a, from a taste perspective. A lot of parallels, a lot of American companies seem to be doing the same thing, getting their meat from the same places and, and compromising quality. But uh, that'll be it for today. Thanks again for joining me today, guys. 
If you want to check out these fats, we have them available on Frankie's Free Range Meat as well as Frankie's Free Range Foods.